Back in 2020, my hair was at its worst. I wanted my healthy, shiny hair back, but restrictive diets, styling my hair with heat, and not taking proper care of my hair destroyed it. I don't know if you relate, but I have some weird emotional attachment to my hair. I always wanted my old hair back and I tried everything and I mean everything from cutting my hair to changing my hairstyle, trying different products and eating well. And in 2022, I finally achieved my dream hair. This video contains all my favorite tips, products and techniques to properly take care of your hair. Now it's 2023 and here's my story of how I did it and how you can too. I've been waiting to film this for the longest time and so here is my full hair care routine and all the things that I've learned from my hair care journey that helped me to repair my dry and damaged hair and took it to how it looks right now. But before we head into the hair care routine and all the tips that I would love to give you, I want to start off by saying some general tips about how you can take care of your hair aside from the products that you can use and how to use them. One main thing I would like to say as a person who has personally dealt with this is do not restrict yourself. Don't follow diets, don't restrict yourself from having certain types of food because your body needs this food. It's really important to have a lot of healthy fats and proteins in your diet so that your body can actually help maintain your healthy and shiny hair. The second thing I would like to say is invest in good quality products. The hair care products that you use really does affect the health of your hair. Now back when I was using drugstore products and those contained a lot of sulfates and parabens, it really did show on my hair whereas when I shifted to something that's much more better has better ingredients and is better for my hair it was truly seen on my hair so I would suggest that you invest in good quality hair care products so that you get the results that you want and now let's talk about my hair care routine and everything I introduced into my hair care routine that was able to take my damaged hair to how it looks right now which is pretty healthy and I'm proud of it so yeah let's get into it so if you're wondering what this is I picked on my skin don't judge me I got this urge to just pop it out and I did it and now it has turned into a scar so do as I say not as I do okay so if you know me you know I'm gonna start off my hair care routine by oiling my hair so how I do this is I use coconut oil you can use argan oil or jojoba oil castor oil they all are great what i do is i oil the ends of my hair and if my hair is not greasy because i have oily scalp so when my hair is not too greasy i also apply oil on my hair near the scalp and also on the ends of my hair and after applying the oil i make sure to massage my scalp for about two to three minutes just to stimulate all the hair follicles doing this can actually help promote your hair's growth so that's what i do and today since the ends of my hair feel kind of dry i'm going to apply this on the ends of my hair and what i usually do is i leave this on my hair for about one to two hours that's it i don't leave it on for any longer because over oiling and using too much oil also can lead to other issues like clogging the pores on your scalp it leads to hair loss and other scalp conditions and the amount of hair oil that you use will depend on how much hair that you have so apply the adequate amount and i don't recommend leaving these hair oils on your scalp overnight or for too long because of the reason that i said before it can clog up the pores and lead to other issues and honestly oiling my hair is one main thing that changed my hair's health because it can help with not just your hair's growth it increases your hair's volume it reduces hair loss and if you have issues like hair thinning this does help with that one major thing that has helped me change my whole hair care routine is try oiling the ends of your hair every time before you shampoo your hair because when you shampoo your hair it's going to absorb all the natural oils and grease on your scalp and hair and this leads to the ends of your hair getting really really dry because compared to the hair near your scalp the ends of your hair don't have enough moisture and oils so that is why the ends of your hair end up really dry and frizzy so in order to prevent that try oiling the ends of your hair before every hair wash by hair wash i mean every time you shampoo your hair so when you apply hair oil on the ends of your hair and then then you go shampoo your hair you're gonna end up with really clean but also shiny ends and that's what you're looking for my mother is the one who introduced me to oiling my hair when I was a kid she used to oil my hair and I stopped this during my high school days because I did not want to go to school with greasy hair and yeah I did I was just embarrassed to go to school with greasy hair so I stopped and now I regret it because 
this is something that has truly changed my hair and if i continued doing it i would have seen better results but yeah i got back onto it after i realized how great it is for my hair and if i seem really sweaty and um dying in heat it's because it's summer right now in india where i'm staying and oh god if i switch on the ac or the fan my audio is gonna get up and i am here melting just so that you guys can hear me properly i have no option but to not switch on the ac or fan and record this yeah i really hope you like this video because i mean if it is helpful leave a like down below and let me know so we have oiled our hair and now comes the second part of our hair care routine and that's obviously shampooing our hair and it's so important to understand how you should actually be shampooing your hair because that also makes a huge difference on how your hair is going to look now one shampoo that i've been using recently which i have been loving is the l'oreal dream length shampoo and this is amazing if you have oily scalp but dry ends this helps get rid of all the oils and grease on my scalp but it does not leave the ends of my hair dry which is something that I'm looking for. However, if you have dry and damaged hair, like I said in my previous video, try going for Shea Moisture, the raw Shea Butter line. That line has a really good shampoo which is super gentle and is great for dry and damaged hair. So if you have dry and damaged hair, go for the Shea Moisture one. However, if you have oily scalp but dry ends, go for the L'Oreal one. Now let's shampoo our hair and I'm going to tell you how to actually shampoo your hair i have rinsed my hair and now it's time to shampoo our hair and don't tell me about how my dress is wet right now because sacrifices have to be made so that i can show you how i do my hair care routine okay can't take you in my bathroom right now because i don't have the setup for it okay you just have to deal with this right now <laughs> so we take our dream length shampoo and how you should actually be shampooing your hair is you should lather your shampoo. This is how you should be shampooing your hair. Focus the shampoo only on the hair near your scalp, okay? You shouldn't be applying the shampoo on the ends of your hair. If you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. Why you shouldn't be applying shampoo on the ends of your hair is because, like I said, the ends of your hair is really dry and it needs moisture. To get rid of the excess oil, you need to shampoo your hair and focus it near the scalp only. If you're wondering, shouldn't I shampoo the ends of my hair? Won't it be dirty? Don't worry, because when we rinse out the shampoo from our hair, it's going to run through your hair and that is enough to cleanse the ends of your hair and focus the shampoo only on your scalp. That's the main part. I've shampooed my hair and now it's time to go wash off the shampoo and then we head on to the third part of our hair care routine. I have rinsed all the shampoo of my hair. Let's talk about the third step of our hair care routine, which is conditioning our hair. And if you don't use conditioner after shampoo, I don't know what to say, you have been doing your whole hair care routine wrong. Every time you shampoo your hair, you need to condition your hair because shampoo gets all the dirt and grease and oil off your scalp and hair. So it needs that oil and moisture back into your hair. So that is why you condition your hair. Now, one of my most favorite conditioners is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Conditioner. This shampoo from this line and the conditioner from this line is amazing. I love it. And this is great for my dry ends. Nothing conditions my hair as much as this does. And I'll keep repurchasing this because it's that good. After I shampoo my hair, I try to squeeze out all the excess water from my hair. And then I go ahead and apply the conditioner so that my hair can absorb all that conditioner into my hair. And then I go in and apply the conditioner. So I just take a coin size amount. And just like the oil, I only apply the conditioner on the ends of my hair. Because I'm going to repeat myself again, the hair near your scalp has enough natural oils and you know, all that goodness. It doesn't need extra moisture unlike the ends of your hair. So apply your moisture, so apply your conditioner only on the ends of your hair. I leave this on for like 10-15 minutes so I can get all the moisture back into my hair. If you're immediately rinsing out the conditioner after applying it, there's no point. Your hair needs time to absorb the product into your hair. So yeah, give it some time. Leave it on the ends of your hair and wait for 10-15 minutes so what I like to do is I always do my hair before I wash my body so wash your hair get the conditioner on your hair and then you wash your body and by that time it'll be like 10-15 minutes or just wait for a few minutes and you can wash it off and your hair will be feeling and looking pretty good one major mistake I used to do when I used to condition my hair was 
conditioning my hair from my scalp to the ends that that's not what you want to do especially as someone with oily scalp you're going to end up with greasy hair really quick once you get all the basic stuff down it's going to be really easy to maintain your hair and maintain healthy shiny hair now i'm going to wait for a few minutes and then let's wash this off and we'll be back for the fourth part of our hair care routine now i have washed all the conditioner out of my hair and i'm back and i'm here to show you the fourth part of my hair care routine and this is not exactly a part of my hair care routine it's just something i like using so this is my microfiber towel and this is something i always use to wrap my hair up and i prefer this a lot over a regular bath towel and let me explain why after i quickly wrap my hair up in this towel and now it's secure so why i love using a microfiber towel much more than a bath towel is because what i used to do is vigorously rub on the ends of my hair to dry it with a bath towel and that is so 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 damaging to your hair and that is another reason for you to end up with really frizzy hair that is not what you have to do instead try wrapping up your hair like this in a um, microfiber towel which is much more gentle compared to your normal bath towel so if you can try investing in a microfiber a towel it absorbs all the excess water and it leaves your hair less frizzy when compared to you know wrapping up your hair in a bath towel or vigorously rubbing on the ends of your hair to get rid of the excess water so i leave it on my hair for a few minutes so that i can absorb all the excess water of my hair and then we head on to the next part and the last part of my hair care routine which is hair oils and serums and this is the main secret to having that shiny glossy hair after washing your hair so my hair is currently damp right now and when it's damp is when i like to apply my hair oils and serums and these are hair oils and serums that you apply after you wash your hair so to get back all that moisture and oils back into the ends of your hair you use these serums and oils and if you're someone with frizzy and dry ends this is something that will save your hair and why i like applying this on damp hair is because it will give you better results than when you apply it on dry hair so don't apply it when your hair is wet wait for it to get damp and then you apply your hair oils and serums this is one of my favorites this is the ogx lightweight oil it's a argan oil of morocco and this is super super lightweight and if you're someone who struggles with greasy hair this is something you can use and another amazing hair oil is the one from hask this is the keratin oil it's a smoothing hair oil which softens and renews your hair so i apply this on the ends of my hair and i also use this these are two hair oils i often use so this is how i apply them so how i use this is i take about 2 to 3 pumps on my palm and then i massage it to the ends of my hair but when i'm using this one i take about a small coin size amount and then i spread it across my palm and then apply it to the ends of my hair and that's how i do it this does not leave your hair greasy it will leave your hair looking pretty shiny and amazing and it smells amazing too right now i'm just going to apply this so like i said i took two pumps on my hand and now i'm just going to brush that through the ends of my hair where i usually have really frizzy hair and another question i get quite often is how should i dry my hair should i air dry my hair or should i blow dry my hair which is the best way so let me explain this the best way is whatever suits your hair the best now for me sometimes i air dry my hair and sometimes i blow dry my hair now why i said the people with dry and frizzy hair can try blow drying their hair instead of air drying their hair is because when you air dry your hair you can end up with really frizzy hair however if you blow dry your hair you're going to end up with much better results how about there are people who air dry their hair and their hair still looks amazing so it totally depends on you if you feel like when you air dry your hair your hair looks much better go for that if you feel like you don't have to blow dry your hair just stick to air drying your hair however if you feel like when you air dry your hair your hair is much more frizzier than when you blow dry your hair then try doing this put it on the lowest setting and then also spray the heat protectant spray on your hair and then go ahead and blow dry your hair so that you can protect your hair and get the results that you're looking for so both are great ways 
it depends on what you feel and what suits your hair the best you can do either way <laughs> so i have applied the hair oil to the ends of my hair and that comes to the end of our video and this is my whole hair care routine that i have been staying quite consistent with for the past two years and it has been giving me such great results that comes to the end of our routine and the end of this video thank you for watching if you have any questions leave them down below and if you made it to the end i appreciate you if you like this video and if you found it helpful leave a like because I'm literally suffering in the summer heat and I genuinely hope that this was helpful for you. That's it. Take care of your health, take care of your skin and hair and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video.